Lewis to San Antonio Brinson. Gibbs circling around, takes a three and knocks it down. Shaquan Gibbs. Average. Andre Wilson drawing it. Lewis double teamed. Hatters with trap defense, but they leave Cook. Drills a three. Zach Cook shoots 40% from downtown. Shooting about 83% for the year after those two. You see it, Stetson already getting to the line three times. The Graf knocks down a three. NJIT has made three of four for proved since the start of conference play. It's something they're trying to do a little bit more. They also have the best three-point defense in the league, and here's a steal for Cooks, who leads the league in steals, and he lays it in for two. 53rd steal of the year for Cooks. That's ninth in the... They also have the best three-point defense in the league, and here's a steal for Cooks, who leads the league in steals, and he lays it in for two. 53rd steal of the year for Cooks. That's... But in spite of that, they're only up by one. Handful of three-pointers for NJIT, and now two for Gibbs, and NJIT has the lead. Susan Burke for Stetson. Here is Lewis. Hands for Gibbs, that's a long two. It's good. Gibbs with seven to start the game. A perfect rebound by Donovan Greer. Now Cooks passes to Jones wide open. That's gonna go down. Shondale Jones is a sophomore with his first two of the night. Cooks the free throw line. Jay, what a response. Already nine on the evening for the sophomore. In total steals, he's a conference of steals per game. And he's such a willing passer. You saw that last, but saw that example of it on that last possession. And Inye gives it away. Now Cooks running the fast break. Bumps over Jones. He missed him, but they call the foul. And Corey Williams can't believe. Jones stripped to the basketball. And now Cooks quickly out on the break. He's got a two on one. Shondell. Jones stripped to the basketball. And now Cooks quickly out on the break. He's got a two on one. Shondell Jones puts it in for two. You mentioned the bench points too. All Jones stripped to the basketball. And now Cooks quickly out on the break. He's got a two on one. Shondell Jones puts it in for two. You mentioned the bench points too. Oh, you had to, you know, with this ladder for NJIT, you know who's gonna get the ball. Cooks got it. And you still can't stop it. <laughs> He's so good. He scores in all sorts of different ways. He just would have had the lead if that had gone down. Dumped inside to Bendari, swims in for two. And with JIT, you've only gotten two free throws from Abdul Lewis, and you still find yourself up by two on the road. Jones with three. That's part of the reason why. Shondell Jones with eight points, the bench tonight, and win their third straight game. They'll get a shot at revenge against North Alabama, who upset them a couple of weeks ago after this. And Abdul Lewis, who didn't have a field goal in the first half, at first half and never returned. Cooks bouncing down low for Wilson. Over Raleigh, nice play. And the two guys who didn't have a field goal to know at this point, they are calling everything. They have been the entire night. Here's McKeithon, he lost it. Dribbled it off the leg of an NJIT player. I think it was Wilson. And that's by a hair, and he's playing under 24 minutes a game. Gibbs for three. High off the back iron. Rebound, Brinson fights his way inside. Gets the two. San Antonio Brinson very limited with foul trouble in the first half. Three straight field goals from the three players who haven't mentioned did not get a field goal in the first 20 minutes. Now they can do pretty much whatever they want offensively. Blocked by Lewis. It's been all NJIT since halftime. Here is three for Cooks. In and out, boy, that would have been a potential dagger, but he takes it away. His fourth steal of the night. Great place right. NJIT threatening to run away with this. They've yet to capitalize on this slow start by Stetson. There's Brinson, who just got straight through two defenders. I think the ball. NJIT threatening to run away with this. They've yet to capitalize 
on this slow start by Stetson. There's Brinson, who just got straight through two defenders. I think the ball. NJIT threatening to run away with this. They've yet to capitalize on this slow start by Stetson. There's Brinson, who just got straight through two defenders. I think the ball involved in the offense, and not one real player has been able to find themselves. And their story, their season so far is Lewis. He's got two, so now you're right, all 10 points. Unless NJIT manages to put this game away in the next few minutes. The way they're looking right now, that's possible. Here's Cooks, into a three, got it! Zach Cooks with 16, and down low for Gibbs. And Shaquan Gibbs running the break. Tipped pass inside the Lewis, swallowed up by Guiti, gets around him anyway. The great feat by Lewis, and staying pick. And half has gone for the Hatters and the Highlanders. Lobbed inside to Lewis. He has 10, eight of them in the second half. ECU three nights after that at Liberty, the team that has, among other things, gotten Steve Alford fired at UCLA this year. Lewis makes a jump shot. He can't miss here in the second half. He has 12, slows things up. NJIT gonna try and just grind the clock off of a win here. Greer, oh, he pops a three. He makes it. Donovan Greer. The senior at AIT will really look to cement that. They're playing in their brand new facility, the Wellness and Events Center in Newark. is a beautiful building that they've constructed, spent a lot of money on it. Shaquan. And two of those three performances can carry you to a win. The downside of that is that you don't have that one consistent go-to option as well as Barry's at three. Diego Willis, the... For good ball movement by the Highlanders. DeGraff knocks down a three. And NJIT, 13 of 18 from... Down low to Bendari. Back up top for Diego Willis. And Willis another three, another make. They're gonna count. Happy to get the putback, seven points for Marquise. And to the corner for Greer. <laughs> they just don't miss. This is remarkable. They're 15 of 20. They just about everything they've tried here in the second half. Nearly got the press uh, create a turnover. Instead, it's Greer rolls it in for two. That's 10 out of 11. Have a look. But uh, this has been a great night for them in that department. There's a block on the other end by Willis. Uh, including their coach, Joe Dooley, who went to East Carolina. It's been a Real down year for FGCU. Meanwhile, Greer hits a three. <laughs> they just are not missing. They made four three. NJIT, 10 of 19 from three tonight. They've shot 60% for the game. Jones blocked by Gibbs. It'll stay with Stetson. And for them to, to you know, they got swept by this team last year to come out and just Thump them here on the road. As Greer ties his career high with 14. He's 